All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start saying all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. Hey, that bonus to our apostles, it was great millstone. And Shalom, walk inside, La Bajar. Just peace and mercy to the lake throughout the four corners, wherever you may be. My brother Omar from the branch of GMS Cleveland, come back at you another video. Lord, what is be edifying uh, to whomever may be watching. Um, I'm just going to title this lesson, uh, The Day of the Lord. All right, and uh, as you can see, I have uh, on the screen uh, Zephaniah 1 and 14. Pretty much going to read uh, a few uh, verses out of here, and uh, I want to get some you know, other verses that correlate with this topic. And, uh, you know, the day of the Lord, man, what it, what it, what it goes into is pretty much the Lord, pretty much ridding uh, the world of of, of, of of wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? Because once the Lord come back, he'll uh, he's going to destroy a lot of uh, 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 people, and uh, and it's clear as day why he'll do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because just, just like during the time of Genesis uh, in the sixth chapter, Yahweh. The Heavenly Father, he had to uh, bring bring forth that flood because of uh, the transgression of men was at all time high. The sons of God, of course, and even had the, uh, obviously the heathens doing what they do, man. So the Lord just pretty much, he got rid of everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's necessary, man, because of how, uh, how uh, the world is, man, you know, or how the world was at that time. And even now, hell, it's even worse, man, because the scripture say, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, the world, uh, matter of fact, let me get that before I even get this scripture. Let me, let me get this real quick. Let's see, uh, this is, uh, Second Ezra chapter 15 and, uh, 6, 6. I'll start at 5, actually. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled, man. So yeah, the Heavenly Father, man, he's going to uh He's going to uh, uh bring forth uh those things that I previously read in the fifth chapter. The sword, the famine, death, and destruction, because of the, the pollution of the world is exceedingly wicked, man. Everything and every everything and everybody down there minus the elect. All right, they're full of uh, wickedness. They're, they're fully given over to the flesh, and they are totally with uh, uh, this man's agenda. Well, I'm see this, when I say this man, I'm talking about Esau, Edom, the current ruler, the elites to be to be particular, who are completely uh, 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 transgressing the heavenly Father's ways and how he originally set things up to be. They are they 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 are are even our people. They are totally with this man's society, man. So that's why the heavenly Father is going to bring forth. Those things that are written in the scriptures, man. So these these are, like I said, this is really pretty much going into what the day of the Lord, man. All right, and it is a necessary thing, man. The Heavenly Father, he's uh he's completely justified on bringing uh forth this uh this uh destruction. This is Zephaniah chapter one verse uh fourteen. It says the the great day of the Lord is near. It is near. And hate and hastily great and hasted greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly, man. So yeah, the day of the Lord is near, man. Hell, it's nearer than what we believe, man. Like I said in Romans, our salvation is nearer than we believe, which our salvation goes hand to hand with the destruction of uh, uh, of this current kingdom. All right. But yeah, man, this the mighty man is gonna cry there bitterly. What, man? These uh. These military men that is uh, uh, that's, that's been enlisted in this uh, Esau Edom's uh, military, you know what I'm saying? The Navy and all these other uh, um, se sections, you know what I'm saying? Like the army and all that, you know what I'm saying? That, that's that, that that's who's gonna cry there bitterly, man. The mighty men, all right? Because they they're gonna have to be they're gonna have to fight against Yahweh by Shem when the uh, when the Lord returns, man. All right, so they're gonna cry there bitterly, man, because they already know that they're not gonna uh, win. You know what I'm saying? I guess scripture say uh second of the thirteenth chapter it says they are scarce but there's fight. So uh moving forward, this verse 15. It says that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and of and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation. It say a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, man. So uh, like 
when we picture how the day of the Lord is going to uh, be, man, it's, it's not going to be nice, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be nice, man. And, and for you so-called Christians and people that uh, call themselves believing on the scriptures that don't have the right uh, doctrine, it should say, woe unto you that desire, the desire of the day of the Lord. So what end is it uh, to you, man? All right. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that. See real quick. I know that's in Amos. Let's believe it's the uh let's see. I believe it's the fifth chapter. Since woe well to you that desire the day of the Lord. Yep. Amos five and eighteen. It says, "Woe well, unto you that desire the day of the Lord." It says, "To what end? To what end is it for you? The day of the day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. All right, man. So, look, man. If you if you believe in in uh, whom the world calls Jesus and whom the world calls God, which God is a title, and Jesus is is, is not the uh, correct name of uh, of our Lord Yahushua that's written in the scriptures. If you believe in uh, the uh, Christianity and all that." It says, woe unto you that is out of the Lord. Because you you thinking that the Lord is coming back this way, when in all actuality, he's coming back the opposite. If you're a Christian, uh, you know what I'm saying, or born again or whatever the hell, and you call yourself believing in the Lord, you thinking that the Lord is coming back to, you know, to, to pretty much, uh, you know, be pass, uh, be a pacifist or, you know what I'm saying, not bring forth judgment, come back loving and hugging everybody. No, man, the Lord is about to come back bringing forth death and destruction, man. All right, because the world has completely gotten out of order. And it's necessary, man. Verse 19, it says, As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand uh, to, on the wall and a serpent bit him, man. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark, it says, and no brightness in it, man. All right, so and that's a question that's being posed, man, which we already know the answer, man. The, the, the answer is, is, is going to be dark. And very gloomy and very uh 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 and feel and feel with very uh very much uh death man and trouble and distress. All right, because if you was the Lord, man, ask yourself, man, how you set things up to be originally. It, it, the world is not operating in, in the way you uh, set it up. You know what I'm saying it, it's, it's going completely backwards, man. You know what I'm saying? Then your people that the Lord's people that He's chosen, man, they are completely going backwards, man. So yeah, it's necessary that the Lord is going to bring forth uh, this destruction, man. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand, like, look, this thing, the the Lord's second coming is not going to be what you think it is, man. All right, if you're not in the spirit, man. All right, so let me go back. I finish out that Zephaniah. All right, going back to Zephaniah. Uh, Verse 16, a day of the trumpet, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fence cities and against the high towers, man. So, yeah, the fence cities and high towers, man, was well, pretty much likened unto what this place, man. All right. Let me go. Uh, uh, what was a uh, uh, shit? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, is that what I wanted, man? Day of the Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I wanted. Yep. This is uh. Isaiah 13 and 6, it says, How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it says, It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty, man. All right? It says, Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, which that word heart is lob, all right, which is the mind, all right? And every man's heart is going to melt, their mind is going to melt because they're going to see what those cherries coming out the sky. And people have, believe, have been believing their whole life, for the most part, that those are big headed aliens. That's uh, navigating those uh, so-called UFOs, which stands for unidentified flying uh, objects, which in all actuality, they're, they're chariots in the scriptures, man. All right, they was here from the beginning of time, man. All right, which the angels operate, which the angels are so-called black men, you know what I'm saying, with woolly hair operating those chariots, man. All right. So it says, uh, it says, uh, and they shall, they shall, it says, and they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrow shall take hold on them. It says, uh, they shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed at one at another. Their faces shall be as flames, man. 
Yeah, because like I said, it's going to what I was talking about previously, man. Those cherries are going to be, they're going to enter into the house of the thief, which the thief is this, uh, you know, Esau, Edom, America. You know what I'm saying? They go, they're going to come into this this realm. All right, people are going to be scared shitless, man. The truth to say, they, they shall be uh, uh, strange at the, uh, they shall be uh, amazed at the strangers of thy salvation. All right. Cause they're gonna be looking like damn at first like like I said, it's the so it's the so-called UFOs that they're gonna be amazed at. And then on top of that, they're gonna be amazed that so-called blacks and Latinos and Native Americans are gonna be getting beamed up as a part of the lick, man. So that's it's gonna be they're gonna be wooed. You know what I'm saying? Verse nine, it says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh it says cruel both with wrath and fierce anger. It says to lay the hand, land desolate, and he shall uh destroy the sinners thereof out of it, man. So yeah, this is this is what the day of the Lord consists of, man. Death, destruction, famine, plagues. These are all the things that's written in the scriptures, man. And we are we're prophesying about these things because the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah commanded us to, man. So you don't want to be fine, you don't want to be found uh out there. You know what I'm saying? When uh, when the Lord returns, man, you want to be found doing the work if you have been called to do the work. And then, um, you know what I'm saying, just being in the right spirit, man, and being found blameless, man.